Hello ladies and gentlemen and finally Arthur is back and today we are going to dive in into some interesting stuff in JavaScript, design patterns and in particular adapter. You may wonder what the hell adapter is at all and basically you can google it and you will find loads and loads of information which will be very complex, boring and may not be always very be useful because we are talking about JavaScript, it's not a very matured uh, OOP language yet. So all the examples that you will find about this adapter pattern will be uh, in Java or like uh, C Sharp maybe and other more OOP languages. Uh, kinda and it's fine but you know we still can use adapter in JavaScript and I suggest to use it like every time you can because it's very useful design pattern so now I suggest we dive in into action so as you can see I have prepared a super tiny project here it's a pure kind of imaginary uh, application that is designed just to show you the purpose of the adapter uh, pattern it has literally just two files index and component JS and yeah let's take a look into the code and see what is adapter B can be useful for so imagine situation you have a uh, project where you have like multiple uh, like loads of different modules and files like maybe hundreds and uh, for loads of your stuff that you are working on you need unique identifiers and you were like oh okay cool so um, there probably is a library for this and um, yeah, you most likely will be right. So some people already thought about this and they created a library that can generate UUIDs. And for example, you go to NPM registry, uh, the public one, and you found this interesting project, which is called UUID version 70. Like, oh, it's quite mature. It has 29 downloads weekly. It's very easy to set up. You just do NPM install and you've got it basically. And then it's very simple to import and just start using it and the problem is that you will be basically doing this very quickly and because it's so simple to uh, start using it you will be importing it all over the place basically in all uh, modules and files where you need it and you will end up with something like this file and then this file where you have UUID used for like component unique IDs then user unique IDs and then maybe something else and all over the place you will have these uh, use cases basically okay but then suddenly imagine a couple of situations first situation uh, might be that um, for whatever reasons um, this uh, library is not supported anymore and you're like oh man I need to change this or I want to switch to another library or I want to create my own library um, and you will be like okay cool so we need to replace it and uh, as you probably already realized it will not be that simple because obviously you have used this um, library directly in like majority of your project and you have like I don't know 60 100 uh, use cases uh, and it will be nightmare to replace it with your own interface or another app, uh, another library so you probably already started to taste a little bit the flavor of what the problem here is and it's even bigger problem because basically if you think about it okay there are no vulnerabilities or the or maybe there are but for example it's not a deprecated version but creators of uuid library for example they decided to go and upgrade their version to version 5 so as you can see this one is like uuid version 4 and they created version 5 and it has completely different function so it's not even oop so you will be using this function all over the place and then suddenly they will release a new function and uh, you can't upgrade because basically your code will be broken or it will still utilize the old um, kind of version of the library and you can see basically where it's going so basically it can go deeper and deeper so it's quite common problem and it's not just with the example of UUID it can be Axios it can be Lodash and whatever library you use really uh, so adapter is basically a design pattern that will help you to solve this problem let's quickly check it out how we can do that on this mini project so as i mentioned we are using uuid version 4 blah 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 so we are currently using it in two files 
uh, but for example if we will switch to another library so if someone will decide okay I need completely different library for whatever reasons maybe different developer didn't know about UUID version 4 and he introduced his own implementation or whatever and you basically will end up with multiple different implementation within your code base as well so it's even bigger problem so it's like it's it's scaling massively it's like growing as a virus basically so what we can do with the adapter is we can create an abstraction layer which will uh, observe all the libraries or library hopefully it will be just one for one adapter but it will um, observe all the logic from this library in just one place and then this will be this adapter as such will be used in your code so you basically with your adapter you are defining the uh, interface that your application is using okay so you are in control of it and here is the example so uh, in this code base I have created a utils folder and you might have something like uuid.js file which is your own file and here you can create a class for example or a function it doesn't really matter uh, but uh, you can create your own implementation your own interface uh, by interface I mean that you will have your naming convention and your own expected implementation like method names etc. Uh, in more matured OOP languages you will have actual interfaces and you will uh, be able to dictate what functions must be inside of your classes etc. But JavaScript is a little bit more flexible so you can do that just by creating your own class and uh, defining the functionality of of your interface so for example instead of importing this uh, in your index and component HTML file you will import this only only into your adapter and then you would create a for example uh, there are multiple ways but basically you can either create a constructor and then construct an object from the library etc and then utilize it within your methods or you can in this case because UUID is a simple function you can simply just um, put your UUID function use over here and basically what will happen is you can even simplify it more like this and remove that line I mean it it looks incredibly simple as you can see yeah but the benefit of it is incredibly big okay because you may also um, add extra uh, functionality into this implementation so you can use uh, original UUID for example uh, library functionality and you can uh, add on top of it if you need or you can keep it as simple as we just implemented and what happens next is uh, instead of importing this um, library into your index um, um, file you will be importing your own abstraction basically from utils UUID okay and same will apply to this big guy over here but now you will see the problem okay so it's syntax there is a syntax highlight because there is no function UUID blah 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 so you will have as we discussed your own interface so you have UUID generate voila and it works and then you will have the same thing here so sorry UID dot generate and there you go it works exactly the same and you are using your own interface your own implementation of this uh, UUID library and now for example if you are uh, going to switch to a different library or uh, to a different version or you want to create your own implementation of this library you can control all that stuff from a single point of truth basically this file here adapter will be the only point in your uh, code base of your application that you will need to edit and change if you need so this is all in all what it is and i hope this was very useful and i didn't overcomplicate the explanation it's incredibly simple it's basically an abstraction around it's like a wrapper for uh, anything that you want to plug in especially third party so yeah basically uh, that's what it is uh, as i promised i will show you a pro tip as well 
um, and the pro tip is basically always in JavaScript, always create abstraction interfaces for third party libraries, especially for things like Axios, Lodash, Moment, UUID and others. The reason behind is because uh, basically, if you think about it, back in early 2000s, uh, people were using jQuery, for example, or uh, they were using some other libraries which were simply improving a little bit their experience in uh, manipulating DOM or uh, they were generating some stuff or allowing them to work more comfortably with arrays and stuff like that but then for whatever reasons these libraries became deprecated vulnerable um, author uh, stopped uh, kind of supporting it whatever reasons basically and people were having these libraries um, directly injected into their uh, code base and it became a nightmare to get rid of them uh, and or replace them basically so it's really really simple kind of way to avoid a very very big problem and i really really suggest you to do and use to go and use adapter parson in your code base that's it folks as usual basically uh subscribe comment and like this video uh, i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions um, put them down below into the comment section um yeah and see you in the next video bye